Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a high confidence forecast for this weekend. It looks dry both Saturday and Sunday with some sunshine. Then all eyes on early next week with a more active weather pattern uh, setting up once again along the East Coast. A couple of chances for some snow. In the meantime, no snow precipitation on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, which of course was very active today, tracking bands of moderate to heavy snow. The storm system itself was long gone, moving up into the Canadian Maritimes and bringing with it behind it dry and some colder temperatures. Tiverton now coming in at uh, 27 degrees. Many locations getting down to the low and mid-20s. In fact, Smithfield already at 23. So as mentioned earlier, some wetness and standing slush and wet snow freezing up into ice overnight through early tomorrow morning. Threat tracker will still keep it in the high level red. And the reason why, even though the storm system is gone, you know, some of these limbs and power lines are still loaded with very heavy snow. You have to be careful to see if any additional limbs or wires were to come down as some of that weighted snow. Colder temperatures equal, equals icier conditions overnight into early tomorrow morning. And as mentioned earlier in our newscast, still tracking numerous power outages. Back to green, both uh, Saturday and Sunday, looking pretty good with the dry weather and some sunshine. You can see on the uh, satellite and radar composite, the uh, rain, actually snow from earlier this afternoon pulling offshore and then we switch over to futurecast and showing temperatures dropping uh, quite a bit overnight watch the clock will take you through about uh, five six o'clock in the morning getting down into the upper teens to lower 20s crystal clear starry skies waking up to sunshine tomorrow morning a few patchy clouds moving in during the afternoon it'll take until about one two o'clock to get temperatures above freezing but topping out mid and upper 30 so a pretty nice day considering uh, where we were earlier today and then by tomorrow evening clear to partly cloudy temperatures not as cold but we'll get below freezing dropping down to around 32 by 11 o'clock so plenty of sunshine tomorrow actually for tonight clear skies temperatures dropping down to 20 then plenty of sunshine uh, tomorrow morning very cold start icy conditions on secondary roads and on foot, so be careful that first step out of the door early in the morning. Temperatures between roughly 20 and 25, and then during the afternoon, blue skies, dry, temperatures getting above freezing. By around 2 o'clock, we'll top out in the mid to upper 30s on a light southwest breeze at 10 to 15. Seven-day future cast showing beautiful weather on Sunday as well. Temperatures upper 30s. It's this Monday, Wednesday time period watching closely. For one, it's colder as the weather pattern becoming more active along the East Coast and watching really a couple of systems both Monday and Tuesday as far as the potential for snow. You know, how close ocean moisture tracks will determine whether or not this is just light snow or something more significant. So stay tuned. Regardless, we're pretty quiet both tomorrow and Sunday before we start talking at least potential snow for early next week along with the uh, chilly temps. 13 days to pitchers and catchers. So already thinking spring. <laughs> already thinking spring. All right. Thanks, Tony. Here we go.